Let's take our first look at the Season 3 Battle Pass, Black Cell Operators, new weapon unlocks, and much more. Be sure to drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new, but first off here, here is the Battle Pass, a pretty cool bluish theme here. We have a look at a bunch of the sectors and the main rewards you're getting for each sector. So, standard stuff here, of course, you have your new weapon unlocks, which we'll talk about in a second. You have some operators, some melee weapon blueprints here. All cool stuff. You have the Black Cell sector. You have an empty sector, which will be that classified sector, which will unlock at some point during the season. The max tier sector as well. Tier 100 instant rewards are shown down below and all that cool stuff. So standard look for the Battle Pass here. Nothing too crazy, but let's go through the actual operators here and what we're getting. And of course, we'll break down the Black Cell operator as well. So they say the Season 3 Battle Pass is stacked with 110 pieces of unlockable content, including three free base weapons, two new operators, Banshee and Hush, new skins for Makarov, two skins there, Snoop Dogg, Swagger, Ripper, Doc, Riptide, Banshee, the new operator, Corso, Byline, and again, Hush, that new operator as well. So first off here, we have Vladimir Makarov. This is his instant reward sector skin. And then there's also a tier 100 version of Makarov as well, which we don't know what that looks like just yet. But some people are saying this could be that tier 100 Makarov skin. I could kind of see it. This looks like a pretty cool skin here. We'll see very soon. For the next operator skinny, of course, in the instant reward sector of the Battle Pass, it's the Snoop Dogg Operator skin, which has a really, really sick look here. Pretty much a Coney Snoop Dogg. Again, we theorized that maybe he would be in the Battle Pass. I talked about it in a previous video, but that came true. I think it's so cool to see him in the Battle Pass. Overall, the Battle Pass is cheaper, so... Previously, the Snoop Dogg Operator Bundle was a separate bundle for $20 at least. Now here, he's in the Battle Pass, which some people could get for free. If you complete the Battle Pass every season, you'll get enough cop points to buy the next season Battle Pass. So I love that they're doing this here. Unfortunately, we're only getting a skin for that instant reward sector. There's no tier 100 Snoop Dogg skin. I feel like that would have been so sick to see a fully kitted, beefed up Snoop Dogg in a crazy military suit. Whatever they wanted to do, that would have been fire. But regardless, still cool to see him in the base Battle Pass as an instant reward next here for a new battle pass operator banshee available in sector 13 nothing much on this here just a different operator to have in the game solid look there at least with this skin another new operator here hush available at tier 100 that max sector there another interesting skin cool stuff there we'll probably get more skins for these operators throughout the season in bundles future battle passes and stuff like that and of course throughout the battle pass as well you'll be able to unlock weapons for free the first one here is the fjx horus smg otherwise known as the mp9 here available in battle pass sector 8 this is a pretty cool smg here it says an ultra compact smg with best in class cqc damage and mobility solid stuff there we'll see how it is in the game when the update does release next one here super excited for this one the moore's sniper rifle from aw in battle pass sector 4 this single load railgun delivers a high damage payload with excellent velocity and penetration cool stuff there again so again these two weapons are available for free you do not need to buy the battle pass to get access to the weapons just play the game you'll gradually unlock battle pass tokens and over time you'll be able to get these weapons pretty easily but next weapon here in the battle pass is the gladiator melee weapon at sector 15 a compact concealable punch knife that was initially used by gamblers and politicians okay kind of cool there and then of course the bow 27 assault rifle available mid-season it says redacted but it's going to be a part of that classified battle pass sector that will appear when season three reloaded goes live a bullpup prototype weapon designed to increase fire rate over time while the trigger is squeezed the first four shots are slower to fire but highly accurate so about 27 such a fun weapon back from aw can't wait to see how that and the moors will play in this game and unfortunately again we talked about the asm1 and the em1 from aw potentially coming in this season and getting scrapped maybe we'll still see those in future seasons i would love for them to add them so we'll see very soon probably not for this season of course but maybe for season four i hope we get that stuff because aw was an underrated game in my opinion and those would be fire to see in mw3 but now of course here for the season three black cell upgrade a lot of cool stuff here first off on this main operator i'll talk about him more in a second but it is a solid look here the black and gold look is still there but you have a lot more blue as well which i love the new colors integrated into the black cell upgrades the black and gold again 
as I've said, has been getting a bit boring season after season. So having more of a color scheme th that goes along with the season, of course, this season is blue. So having that blue in the actual operator itself and the black cell weapon blueprints is a W for sure. We saw this with red for the previous season in MW3 as well. So glad that they're doing that there. This black cell sector unlocks immediately upon purchase, granting immediate access to the new Stasis Black Cell Operator plus the aggressive action at Frag Grenade Blueprint with Death Effect, uh, Double Barrel Disrespect Finishing Move, the All That Glitters Black Cell Animated Blueprint for the Bass B Battle Rifle, Tracers there, Dismemberment Effects as well, and 1100 extra cop points there. Claim your tiers and work through the sectors of the Season 3 Battle Pass. Black Cell members can earn exceptional Black Cell rewards there. So, uh, of course, if you get the Black Cell Operator, you'll get a Black Cell version of all of the 12 new operator skins as well and seven animated weapon blueprints one for lethal equipment here so this is in addition to the 110 regular battle pass items you're already getting now obviously if you guys don't know the black cell uh, upgrade is $30 USD so you're spending $30 which is a lot of money but you do get the full battle pass in return 1100 extra cop points and all the other cosmetics including that main black cell operator so let me know down below if you have any questions on what exactly Exactly you're getting and all that good stuff and finally here again another look at this main black cell operator stasis here which looks pretty solid overall love that blue animation in the actual operator and the weapon blueprint as well and we'll get a full look at the black cell upgrade the full battle pass as well on tuesday april 2nd when they're actually going to reveal that in a blog post so i'll be sure to break that all down on the channel when that info goes live but overall pretty solid stuff there and of course throughout these two previous gameplay trailers for season three the rebirth island one yesterday and the multiplayer one today Day, we get a lot of shots of a bunch of the operators for season three battle pass operators upcoming store bundles operators a part of new events we'll go through a lot of those in detail in a future video as you guys know before an update comes out we get a bunch of leaked gameplay of all the operators in the menus and all that good stuff full looks at the store bundles the weapon blueprints cosmetics all that content we're getting so we'll do a full video and breakdown when all of those leaks come out at some point early next week probably for season three operators but we did get some early looks here again in the trailers some miscellaneous operators here that will either be in the battle pass and future bundles this first one here is a new swagger operator skin this is a fire skin honestly so so solid nothing too spectacular or crazy but you know a lot of people want more of a low-key vibe here and it's this is a low-key vibe a black ghillie suit type of vibe with a gas mask there really cool look there we have a new riptide skin as well pretty standard look there but solid overall again like that one here now this one should be a bundle skin very sure it's a ghillie suit sloth operator i guess uh so interesting stuff there but still not too bad and then of course these gotta be operator bundles these are a bit more on the goofy side uh we have a evil bunny and then i guess is that a fox on the left i'm not so sure but regardless some goofy skins they're not a big deal i mean it is what it is at this point we're not going to stop it from happening right but those are the, some of the operators some extra operators we saw throughout the trailer and marketing as well and of course i'll break down in full all of the operators the bundles the event operators all that stuff we're getting at some point next week when it does leak out or get fully revealed potentially from call of duty themselves but overall it's here for this video be sure to subscribe for more season three update videos like this for future cod updates as well shout out to youtube members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys